everybody, this is Crusher Crazy 10 and this is going to be a package video. Um, it's going to be slightly different than normal though because I do have a package that I'm helping import for another YouTuber. I now, normally wouldn't show things, like if I'm helping someone import something, I normally wouldn't show it on video, but I think in this case it needs to be done just because um, Snaztastic, if any of you know who he is, he really likes Super Nintendo and Nintendo 64 games to be boxed in complete mint condition and I'm helping him out import this game. Now unfortunately this guy shipped the game in a bubble mailer so I honestly have no idea how the condition of the item changed and I want to make sure that I get this on camera so that I can show him and you guys can also see this too. Um, so I'm just going to get right into it. I really really hope that everything is okay because, I mean, I would be really bad for SNES if this is the case. Okay, alright, well he did put it in bubble wrap inside the bubble mailer, so that's a good sign. And remarkably, it is actually still in very good condition. I, I'm really surprised. Um, wow. It's even got the original plastic seal. There's just some slight bowing on the front cover, and it's all this is awesome. Um, so here's the game. Uh, Pete, here, this is the condition. Uh, there's some s very, very slight uh, bending down this way. I'm not sure if you can see it. And there's, it looks like there's a little bit of bowing on the top. Um, but other than that, it's, it's in pretty good condition. And uh, I'll PM you with more information about what's inside later. So this is not mine. Again, I'm, I'm importing this for Pete. And I was very surprised that it stayed in as good condition as it did, so um, a relief there. Here's the other package. This is a Game Boy thing. Now, I have a couple Game Boy things coming, but I do not know what this is because none of the sellers gave me any shipping and tracking information uh, for these Game Boys. So we'll have to see how that plays out. So this guy wrapped it up and brown paper because he recycled the box, which is fine. Um, I just would have thought they would have taken off the um, original FedEx shipping label, but whatever. Alright, and we're in. Oh, lots of bubble wrap. This will be handy. Oh, wow. I bought this on 4th of July and it already came, so that's, that's really good. Excellent. Okay, so what I got here, I've got a Game Boy Advance and a Game Boy Color, both in cases. So let's take a look at the Game Boy Advance first. Um, there should be one more game in here. They might have put it in the Game Boy Color case. Okay. Alright, everything looks to be in very good condition. Now, yes, this is pink, but if I'm going for a full collection, I need all the colors. Um, it doesn't look like there's any, been any corrosion in the battery input, or battery slot, and uh, everything looks to be in good working order. Uh, the screen is in excellent condition, it's just a little smudged. Cool, okay, so there's the Game Boy Advance. And in there, in that bit, were two games. There's Pokemon Puzzle Challenge and Herbie Fully Loaded for the Game Boy Advance. Um, I really don't have any intention of ever really playing either of those, but, you know, what are you going to do? Okay, this Game Boy case is strange. All right, and here is the Game Boy Color, and it is also pink. Um, not entirely sure which actual pink color this is. There were several but, uh, yeah, it's a pink one. There's a little bit of gunk on the side, but um, this is in good shape, too. The screen is pretty clear. Um, no real scratches or anything. So this is, I think this is um, strawberry. Yeah, I would say this is strawberry, because the actual pink is a lot more pink. So, yes, I got the two girliest Game Boys you could buy, but it's okay, because um, I also got Pokemon Pinball, which I had been wanting for a long time. Now, I don't, again, I don't know what, what happened to the, uh, the battery cover. It looked like it was included in the auction, but I guess it was just an optical, like an illusion or something. That's unfortunate. 
Well, I'll put a AAA battery in, hopefully this will work. Um, my cousin had this when we were little, and I would always beg him to play it, but he never really let me. So yeah, there's uh, my two Game Boys, which these will just sit there. I will never play these because, I mean, I'm a guy and they're pink. I mean, they're cool to have, I guess, and, and I could impress people by saying I own pink things, but I don't know. And then the two cases. Uh, these are both pretty, uh, I don't want to say low quality, but they're definitely not like the official, they're not as good as the uh, really official ones that I've gotten in the past. The uh, My previous video, I believe, I showed my uh, my other cases, and they're very nice. I mean, these are fine, but I really, I don't need them. So, um, thank you guys for watching. Again, Pete, I'm going to send you a private message about uh, your game. And if you're satisfied with the condition, then we'll go ahead and uh, go from there. And um, other than that, thank you guys for watching. And I've got, t I think, two other things coming in the mail. Um, yeah, two other things coming in the mail, Game Boy related. So hopefully I can get them in the next couple days and we can get a video up then. So see you guys in a few days.